medical condition that would inhibit me in any way. I attend, of course, at my own risk and fully understand the implications of this statement. Get out, what are you going to do? Get out! Come on. I've read this declaration and fully understand its terms and conditions. Anybody who's got a problem with signing that, then speak up now. I wouldn't sign it. Go, 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 go! Go, go! Oozing professionalism. 22 men and women have enlisted for this bodyguard training course. Their dream, escorting superstars and VIPs. But they're in for a nasty surprise. The course ruthlessly weeds out no hopers. My name is uh, Michelle Sørensen. I'm from Denmark. And um, right now I'm a, I'm a mailman. That's it, go on. I think I have a lot of uh, common sense. And um, I have a good physique. And um, people trust me when they look at me. You've got to be fast. Oh, oh JMA! Yeah. Want to try again? Yeah. Draw. Yeah. Good. My name is Carmi Owen, and I work as a bookmaker, bookie. Um, basically, run a shop and do the manual chores. What's the thumb in the gun belt for? Sorry. Tex. <laughs> Draw. Okay. My name's Jill Stevens, and uh, at the moment I work in a gymnasium. I teach a bit of keep fit and just generally look after the the uh, health club. I want a war face. <laughs> a war face. <laughs> You'll look mean. No, no don't not smile. Step, no, not a step rebot. Be evil. Step Good. Thanks. The no. weapon's still putting down. You've got to get it up oh, here. Okay. Yeah, name's Barry White. Uh, I suppose I want to be a bodyguard mainly because I'm looking for a change in career. Um, but for that, what I've been doing at the moment, I've been doing it for the last 10 years, which is driving for a living. This week, then, we're going to find out um, a lot about each other. You're going to learn a little bit about us. We're going to learn loads about you. And obviously, it's all going to be leading towards one day um, maybe becoming a bodyguard. Now, the course is a very intense course. Um, we don't get much sleep. We work extremely hard. We try to to um, to keep it a, a good, fun course as well. Um, when people are cold, wet, and pissed off, um, and they're not laughing at each other, then they're not learning. So we inject a lot of humour into it as well. So it should lead for you should have a really good week. Morning, chaps. Morning. 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 We're waiting for you. Just late for your first job. Join him with the rest. You better start working, Tap, or you're going home! It's January, it's wet, and it's very cold. Already, Excel Security are pushing the trainees to the limit. You cheating bastards! What's your name? Robert Cole. What's your name? Robert Cole. And yours? You cheating bastards! They'll turn around and sprint, you can be sick running. Get your arse in gear, you are a twat! Swat round! Mick, pick him up quickly! Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Get him up, Mick. Get him up here. Top! Right, yeah. Go on, Sprint to the top! Nice effort. Pick him up! <coughs> Stand up! You can be sick standing up! It's all to do with stress. We want to see exactly how that individual reacts under stress so that they, they don't have much sleep, they're worked very hard. Um, yeah, they are, they are sworn at, um, they're, they're, they're mentally abused, and all that is designed to wear them down, because once we've got someone worn down, then we can have a look at their true character. And that's what we're trying to do. We only have a week, and we want to see the real them. Slow it down to my count, you damn! Because we're, oh, we're getting there. Don't show me, I told you that. 17, 18, 19, 20. Just grit your teeth, it's five minutes work, all it is is bottle. <laughs> and this is coming here, okay? And where are you feeling that? <laughs> and he's going back because I'm getting body weight through here. Okay? Feel it? Sense your stomach. To here, feel that. Later in the morning, basic car drills.
Don't look at the floor! Oh, Michelle, just keep them in that nice tight box and when we start walking then. That's better. Yeah. That's a bit better, isn't it? Yep. I know it's a bit unrealistic walking across this muddy field, right? Drive round and pick them up again into the foyer, lads, which is here. Bodyguards must be able to handle a VIP's car in a crisis. But in Excel's book, an emergency is no time for anything flash. Instructor Andy Davies, himself a full-time bodyguard, used to be a commando in the Royal Marines. I'll give you a demonstration of it a bit later on, but flip turns, handbrake turns, etc, etc, just forget about them, lads, <coughs> all right, because it's a load of bollocks, as simple as that. If it's easy to do it on this muddy ground here, one of these vehicles, no problems at all, yeah? To do it in a two-and-a-half-ton Mercedes with four new tyres on a dry road might be a bit different, yeah, while you're being shot at. If you're braking a lot quicker there, you would do if you come under fire. Now he's got to control this now and let him close up. Ah! And then out of it! That was all right. We're going to break rear and we're going that way, right? Right, as we stand up and start running, right, what have we got to give Pat? Body cover. Body cover, we've got to be up his arse here, yes? Go! Get low, Dave! I won't tell you again. Stay low. He's gone. Don't that fat body. Rear rear and out rear. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Michelle, just say the semblance of English, right? Because I can't okay. understand. What was that? We're breaking out rear. <laughs> that sounds like a sexual thing. <laughs> OK. Keep that's better. Now stay close to the car, Michelle. Stay close to the car. Michelle. get right in there with Speak him. Come on, come on. See, and you, Mr Bean, come on. Now remember, Break rear. Let's go, then. Let's go, Get in, go. That's At the same time as being trained, those on the course are pressurised and tested. Each trainee has paid £650 for the privilege. But Excel believe if you're unsuited to life as a bodyguard, now is the time to find out. Get out! Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Ready? Go! That's better, Michelle! That's better, Michelle! first words that come comes out of people's mouths when they've just shot their mate. Shit. No. What do you think? What's oh, sorry? We said it last night. I didn't, I didn't know it was loaded. Didn't know it was loaded. So what do we what do we have to satisfy ourselves about all the time? Got to know the condition of our gun, whether it's loaded or not. Yeah, the safety. Yeah, we do call them gunners down again. Nine times ten, we try to refer to them just calling them the weapon or pistol. We always pick the weapon up with a good grip. Okay, we're keeping our finger way off the trigger. Yeah, picking it up with a nice straight finger as if we mean business with it. Okay, we must always have charge over this weapon. It's not in charge of us, we're in charge of it. What else am I doing? Pointing down the ground. Yeah, I'm pointing it in a safe area. A safe area is anywhere that's not going to hit anybody should I accidentally squeeze the trigger. If you're moving into the industry at some time, uh, the chance is there that you could work abroad with weapons. I feel that people who, even if they're working in Britain, ought to have a familiarity with weapons. Now, one of the problems is you can't do that in half a, half a day. Either you're going to do the two full days. Think! Marie! You load with a hammer back, do you? Put it down! Get over there! All we're doing is creating a little bit of artificial pressure. But pressure is pressure. Whether that pressure is artificially created or not, or whether we actually put you down the range and start shooting at you and then give you instructions, it doesn't matter. The pressure, okay, is the same. Now, as you've just experienced, pressure starts about here, okay, and then this blackness comes over until you can see about that much and you can't focus properly and you can't think properly. Okay, you have to concentrate and open it up. But 
how you reacted to a bit of artificial pressure there is probably how you react to pr real pressure. I pissed poorly. So a positive point then. What did you do well today? I enjoyed... Uh, I was surprised at myself in the actual... Um, when we were on the um, range with the VIP actually oh. firing. I think my bad point, um, not just a specific point, was trying too hard. Uh, it's a failure I have quite consistently and it showed up today when I had, there was the uh, simulated pressure and I was trying too hard, I was worrying about too much and confusing myself and when I came in I just felt a bit. Okay, a positive point then, what, what have you done well, what have you been pleased about your performance today? Not a lot! <laughs> go on Kath, let me go. <coughs> Gone into a decline since what, at whatever point. Mm. You've had a sad on today, haven't you? Mm? You've had a sad on today. She's not been a happy bear. She's not had a happy pill no, today. On Wednesday night, yeah, Kathy becomes dropout number three and goes home to Manchester. Yeah. Bodyguards will return on TLC. Thursday's early morning physical. The remaining students have been allowed to lie in till 6 a.m. It's an easier day. The morning is spent looking for car bombs. You start there by the left rear wheel. Okay, you two do. Left rear. Left rear. Can't get under there far enough, can you? You can see it, but you can't. You can't make out this part. It looks like it's been compacted in there, doesn't it? There's a green um, wire. Sh yeah, show me. You see on the on this here? Oh, yeah. Connected to that. Yeah. Going into the car. Yeah. There's a wire. Hold on. Who found it? Alan and Anna. Yeah. Continue, as though nothing's happened. There's a chap who's got lots of people after him, um, for one reason or another, which will all be explained to you tomorrow by your team leaders. And he's bought this manor, sight unseen, in other words, he's bought it um, over the telephone as a going concern, and we've been tasked to look after him and his business while he's here. Okay, he's not gonna be here for very long, um, although I don't know, I've got a pretty good idea he won't be here much after five o'clock Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow morning, um, I know you're knackered. We do not like, when people are tired, <coughs> too tired, their learning curve takes a big dip. Um, fizz tomorrow will not be um, for you guys until 7.15. We'll only be out for 45 minutes. And then breakfast will be at 8.45, ready for our own group at 9. OK? But at the manor, nothing is what it seems. Uh, by way of keeping up the pressure on them, we uh, are waking them up an um, hour and a quarter before they think they're getting up. So um, there's going to be some pretty disappointed faces in there. Come on! Why are you on the square? You're late! Get your fat ass out of bed, start getting on the square. You're late! Come on, start moving! Just get Move it, you're late! We're not late. You're late. Get up now. Wakey, wakey. That's you. Oh. Charlotte, Charlotte. Oh, oh, Later on Friday, before the VIP arrives, in there, instructors advise trainees on dress sense. What clothes when I and me? No, You're sir. looking good. Thank you. Yeah. See this? Do you know what this is for? No. This is so when the suit is on the rack, 
when you buy it, oh, okay. you know what making it is. <laughs> okay. So we cut those yeah. off. Yeah. It's not a fashion statement. That's good. Okay. Looking very smart. Good. <coughs> no problem at all. Thank you. Just relax. That's very smart. No problems at all. The game's very smart, Ivan. You want a plain white shirt, then? Right. Yeah. The purpose of the exercise is really to dissuade them that, that bodyguarding is all physical, gung-ho, heroic. You know, it's a management problem. Yeah. It's a man management problem. It's a communication problem. So if we just want to go that way? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 20 years' worth of incidents will be crammed into the next two days. First, hours of planning ahead for all eventualities, from assassination to visits to the toilet. So one thing we've missed out. We can run up the secondary route from the map anyway, no problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll just now. do that now, take a few yeah. seconds. So where are you, that's the one thing we've forgotten. Where are you going to? Where, where can we find you? Yeah, the uh, uh, same room as before. In the classroom, yeah. yeah. In the no, classroom, classroom yeah. Finally, the VIP is about to arrive. We have uh, two visitors coming in at uh, about 7 o'clock. Over. Delta 1, OK, over. The crew cut VIP is Dr. Harcourt, a wealthy South African with a controversial past. He's just bought the manor and its 40 acre estate. By now, the trainees are meant to know every inch of the property they're guarding. And how, how many acres are here? I think it's about 25 acres all told. Because I've bought 40. You did. Someone asked if there's only 25, so we've got 15 missing somewhere. It's, it's surrounding fields that belong to this, but they're. they're beyond fields that aren't belong to the manor. So what about that house on the way in? Is that is that part of part of our grounds as well? It's not it's not within your your uh, immediate boundary, it's it's owned by you show me. Show me where we come in. A man with powerful enemies, Harcourt has asked for high security, low profile protection. He's planning to visit a local restaurant for later. The VRP has suggested that he wants to eat here this evening. Um, and because the emphasis is low profile, hopefully they would have um, recceed that there's a nice quiet car park around the back of this restaurant um, so they can safely drop him there out of, out of full view of the public. That probably will not happen. What they'll do is they'll probably drop him here right at the front with engines running, headlights on, a formal D-bus. Um, and it'll, it will be chaos and it will arouse suspicions of the public that want to know what's going on. The trainees are so hyped up, they do the exact opposite of what's been asked of them. Few potential assassins can have missed Dr. Harcourt's arrival. <laughs> Dr. Harcourt and his family settle down to eat, hoping they've got unobtrusive protection outside. Bodyguards returns on TLC. So what's going on here then? You look like male prostitutes who are about to rob the place. No. Is this low profile? No. Is this your brief? Could be low profile? No. What do you mean no? You listened to the old group the same as me this morning. No. This is a low profile job and look at you. So what, how are you going to make your profile lower? Sit in the vehicles. What, engines running maybe? No. How are you going to make your profile lower? Sit in the vehicles with the engines off. Well, you, do, do people sit in public car parks then, do they? No. No. Unless they're going to rob the place. So what are we going to do then? Walk around. Park around. We're going to walk around, are we? Yeah. yeah. So why walk around when there's a perfectly good pub in there if you go and have an orange juice or a coke or something? What's wrong with that? Yeah. Yeah? Long good idea? Yeah, as long as Well, deal with it then. You stood here. You're showing right. out. I, I'm surprised the police have not been called already. <laughs> on the way back from the restaurant, Dr. Harcourt insists on getting out to stroll down his new manor drive. He's taking a big risk. Go, 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 go. 
Ivan runs after the gunman. It's a Category 1 alert. Did you catch him? I caught up with him and took him to the ground. You took caught up with him and took him to the ground? You little terrier, you. Now they're all in a cat one and there's a threat round every corner. You know, every tree holds a terrorist in it. And uh, they're overreacting to everything. They're too close, they're too tense. Control, can you repeat, please? White van coming up towards residence. Tried stopping it, knocked the torch out of my hand as I was flagging it down, and carried on without stopping over. The control lost to. Control to all stations. Delta one, this is zero. Delta one, go ahead. Was it a white van or a white man? Over. I thought it was a white van, but I couldn't see because the lights were blind. I mean, it knocked the torch out of my hand. Over. Blue van, it was a maintenance man. Over. Oh, we're in it. Over. Yeah, I think it was the two ladies in the blue van. Over. Over. Michelle is disappointed it's just a false alarm. Then, a nervous call from Kami and the bookie somewhere in the woods nearby. Delta 2 have heard noises of breaking twigs for quite some time. Over, coming closer. Over. Another security breach. There's a killer in the house. Good rugby tackle for a short ass. Who's that? Ivan. Ivan again. Ivan again. Ivan. 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 He's got nothing to lose with his ripped suit, has he? No. Well, he doesn't have to get down very far, does he? <laughs> no, Ivan's. Next morning, a parcel arrives for Dr. Harcourt. Barry is happy to oblige. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, Zero. This is um, the Alpha Zero Mobile, yes. Yeah, we've what got are a you strike. Doing? Using the radio. Hey? Yeah. What are you? Plonker. A plonker? Yeah. You're a dead plonker, aren't you? Yeah. What's the safe distance for using a radio next to a suspect device? 100 metres, is it? 200. 200 metres. You prat. You're dead, lay down. You died yeah, on your I'm face. Alive, Barry, you. Okay, Pete, cheers, kid. You can go get lunch first. You get lunch first, but I suggest you only have a light lunch. And that's look at it, rather than eat it. Especially if you, Barry. What happens now is we are starting um, six to eight hours of testing. Okay, so switch on and don't disappoint us. Why can I still see you? No let up. Straight after the light lunch, yet another gruelling physical. Get back, back to one. Let's go, come on! Now, straight from the physical into the classroom. Time allowed 70 minutes. All questions to be answered. All questions carry equal marks. Write your name clearly on your answer sheet. They're attached to this test paper. One, how many rounds does the CZ-75 hold? Two, what are the two most common stoppages with a semi-auto pistol? Three, explain the state of the weapon when it is loaded. Four, give five things to take into consideration when choosing a handgun for close protection work. Behind the scenes, 
instructors prepare a first aid test with a mutilated VIP. It's another setup. I've got money on you, Ivan. I reckon you'll be the only person on this course that passes this test. So switch on, do as you're taught and as you're told. Over to Peter. Has anyone passed this yet, Jim? No! First aid test, there's no pressure. Is there ever with us? Could it closer to the door? Inside the room's your VIP and there's been bang an explosion! Right, what are you gonna do now? Look at the state of him now! Come on, you're gonna have to deal with it quickly before you lose him. Right, good. Right, get down there. Give me your five B's now. Talk me through your five B's. Bleeding. Breathing. Bleeding. Bleeding. Bleeding, bleeding, broken bones. Yep. That's be four. safe. Be safe. From what? Stay where Thank you me. are. You won't do it. Right, listen in. Go to Peter, do as you talk, as you've been told. Move, come on! Don't you get this wrong? I've got money on you. First aid test, so just face the door and switch on. There's no pressure. Can we Think about it. Okay. I'll give you the scenario. Inside the room's your VIP, and there's been bang an explosion. Now look at the state of him. Right, come on, he's going to lose him in a minute. Oh, look at the state of that there. Right, give me five Think beats so you can talk me through it. Give me okay, five I'm beats. To see if there's anything around, see if the situation is safe first right. of all. Well, then, then what are you going to do? I can't see anything. He's right. breathing. Right. Okay, he is bleeding. Yep. Uh, I can't see any breaking. Look at this, you've got your hands in your pockets, that's good. Right, now what are you going to do here? Remember the five Bs we went through? Five Bs. Right, give me your five Bs now. Quickly, speak to me. Your five Bs. Breaks. Breaks. Safe. Be safe. Stop no Back an explosion. Now look at the state of him there. So what are you going to do now, Jill? Come on. Jill, an ex-bunny girl, is the only one who spots the trap. Give me your five Bs. Jill, it's not going to be... Why not? Because it, I don't know what's in there. I don't well, know he's why in there. Look at the state of him like, there. I don't know if it's safe. I'm not going in there. So where should you be then? Uh, if you're going, not going, going to get help. help. All right, we'll go and get it then. <laughs> They're not a trained bodyguard because they've done, um, you know, 10 days of training. But that's a good step.